<sighs> By all that is unholy, it is cold. Just because I'm a vampire doesn't mean I enjoy standing out in the snow. And this is a proper snow. Little one, I may not feel the cold the way that you do, but I still don't enjoy it. Haven't you always realized that my apartment is quite cozy? Yes, well, when you've been alive as long as I have, you enjoy the finer things. I've learned to enjoy central heating. Sue me. <laughs> no sympathy coming from that side, is there? It is not my fault that you're a human and I'm not. You are a little more susceptible to the cold, not me. But don't blame me for that. And don't begrudge me my discomfort of the cold as well. Now, now, no need to get touchy. I know, it's cold. I'm cold too, but we must endure. Yes, well, this is the place that Vlad sent us. I'm not sure. I mean, clearly he and Elias had a reason to believe that this was Orion's hideout, but... We've been here for two hours now and seen nothing. Well, at a certain point we're going to have to make a decision. Go in or go home, and... To be fair, I can only imagine that to be one decision. Ah, uh, so well. Forgive me if I don't wish to make that decision. At the end of the day, we are talking about killing my... spawn. Because, little one, it is a bit odd to have to discuss killing my own son. He is my flesh and blood. I don't like the idea of having to end him. I understand its importance, though. He's a damn fear. He has more power than anything you could imagine. A vampire, but who can walk in the sun. Strength. Agility. Intelligence. He is the real deal. It's why we vampires have such rules against creating them. They present a particular danger. Imagine if I could work during the day. Ah, <sighs> little one. If I could work during the day and had a taste for politics, let's be fair, I'd be the dictator of this entire country. Oh, no, 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 not president. I would make it so you all realized just how much you wanted me in power. Dictator would suffice, though. I might go emperor just for the poetry of it. <laughs> like I said, I have no ambition for politics, so you have nothing to worry about. But I totally could do it if I wished to. <laughs> ha! 
Have no fear. You would have a perfect place in my retinue of advisors. Safety is afforded to all my friends. <laughs> now you're starting to understand. Have no fear, though. I have no dictatorial ambitions. Yes, I suppose you're right. My only ambition right now is putting off the inevitable. As much as I don't wish to, perhaps it's time we make a decision. Well, the decision is to go in. As much as I don't like it, as much as I would prefer to just go home, have a nice meal, and forget this ever happened, I can't. If nothing else, I owe it to the others. What? Corellia and her stuck-up bunch of feculent imbeciles? No, 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 not them. Vlad and Elias. I owe it to both of them. They put in the work. They put in the time, the effort, the blood, the sweat, the tears to find this place. They're helping, even if from afar. Or, in Vlad's case, from what I assume is a very luxurious abode. <laughs> oh, if it wasn't apparent, he does not do anything without style and luxury. To be fair, when you are him, you have every right. <laughs> Yes, well, he is my oldest friend, and like I said, I owe this to him. He put in the work. Now it's time for me to see it through. Yes, well, why don't we uh, approach this slowly? Yes, who knows what he's done to the place. If it were me, I know I would have rigged it with traps, and he is my son, so... Caution is the name of the game. Yes, um... And perhaps one of the windows would suffice. Not the upstairs, that would be too easy. A basement, perhaps. I see windows, I mean, I have to believe there's some sort of crawl space or a root cellar, something. Those windows will see us in. Ha <laughs> Forgive the terrible pun. Yes, let's stay with flashlights. It's a bit of a better option right now. I'd rather not give our position away too much. It's nice and dark out in these woods and... Well, I can navigate just fine. I know you need a little more light. The moon will help us in there. Indeed, we did get lucky on that front. I wonder how Caleb and his band of miscreants are doing on this fine, full evening. <laughs> yes, well, I've developed a bit of a soft spot for the furry mongrels, but... Don't tell them that, yes? Good. Now, 
if you'll excuse me. What? There was no luck to pick. I had to break the frame. Oh, just come along. Yes, yes, after you. Well, you're smaller than me, so it only makes sense. Fine, I'll go first. By the unholy gods. Hold on. Ah! All right. I'm here. It's safe. You can come down. Nothing to worry about, little one. Just... Slide through. I'll catch you. Don't worry. And there you go. See, was that so bad? There's nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. However... We should start looking around. Yes, it's not a very big room. Lends to my belief of a root cellar, but there has to be a staircase somewhere. Yes, uh, that'll do. A rickety old thing, isn't it? Don't get me wrong, I have nothing wrong with a good root cellar in thousands of years, but perhaps, you know, modern refinery, I'm just saying. I am not spoiled. I just have come to know the finer things in life, and I don't wish to part from them. I don't think that's such a problem at my age. Oh, for the love of... Ugh, just... Come on. <laughs> yes, I just need to open this real quick and... Ah, there we go. May I? Yes, well... It's only polite to offer. All right. Best close that as to not catch a draft. <laughs> no, more I just don't wish to trip over the damn thing and fall back down there. Best to be safe and all that. Yes, begin looking around, uh, see if you can find anything. Papers, uh, cell phone, laptop or anything. Anything that can help us track him. Uh, I'm not sure myself. I mean, for the most part, it looks like he's just living here. Nothing... Untoward, I mean, no laboratories, no secret weapon rooms so far. It just looks like an ordinary normal house. How boring. You'll forgive me, little one, but I expect a little more panache from somebody who was... My bloodline. I would at least have a spy room. Yes, a spy room. Somewhere I could retire with a nice glass of something and just 
ponder my situation. It sounds lovely. Fair, he might not have my funds, but that doesn't mean he can't do something. The world is your oyster if you're willing to put in the work, and I have for hundreds of years. I'm just saying he could start here. It's nothing against that. Little one, YouTube exists, and everyone can hold a hammer. DIY dreams are within your reach. <laughs> Fair enough. Perhaps I'm being too hard on the boy. He did try to kill me, though, so... Give me a little bit of, uh... Leverage, yes? Uh, thank you. Anything? Yes, me neither. I'm wondering if upstairs... No, there's no one here. I would have smelled someone. I can pretty well guess what he would smell like. Yes, well, again, he is my son. There are certain markers that I could look for. There are none here, so I think we're safe. Why don't you head upstairs? I'll continue down here. Well, I'm going to start tossing some of these bookshelves. See if maybe there's something hidden in a page or two. What does it look like up there? Oh, just a bedroom. Well, I guess there's nothing for that then. I was hoping for something a little more, maybe a sitting room or something. Again, I'm getting my, my DIY high horse. <laughs> How does the bed look? Neat, tidy, does it look slept in? Pity. Not like that, little one. Good lord. My son, after all. No, it, it doesn't look like his bed has been slept in. It means he hasn't been here for a while. Ah, uh, well. Anything? Really? Well, that's interesting. Make sure to grab it. Who knows, a small diary could be anything. Yes, well, I think I found something myself. It looks like a contact sheet. Just a couple of names, a couple of numbers, nothing really overly incriminating, but something. If he hasn't been here for a while, maybe it was too much to hope that he would have left something more uh, tangible. Do you know anyone who forgets their cell phone these days? Do you see anything else? Fair enough, fair enough. Um, come back down. Not sure there's much here. You have a diary, I have a list of names. At least it's a place to start, and after all, we can always ask Vlad and Elias. 
They seem to have their finger on the pulse. Yes, well, it was worth a try, I guess, and no harm, no foul, as it were. We can get in, we can get out, and no one will ever be the wise. Uh, what was that? Well, there are a lot more lights than before. Yes. Little one, did you touch anything? I didn't touch anything. And if that's the case, then someone's watching. If someone's watching, we'd better get the hell out of here. Who knows who it is? Eh, it's back through the root cellar. Let's go. Come on. How in the hell did that lock? Ah. <sighs> This isn't good. This is not good at all. What was that? You don't hear that? That hissing sound. Kind of like an old radiator or something. You don't hear that? Yes, that one. Where is that coming? <coughs> coming from? Ah! Oh. By the hells. What is that? <coughs> ah! Little one. Something's wrong. Oh, yes. Uh, very wrong. What in the... Well, if someone hasn't tripped the alarms, that's wonderful now, isn't it? Who the hell? Don't worry. It'll all be over soon. I made sure this place was particularly vampire-proof. Figured that was the best way around it. You're probably wondering what's going on right now. And if you're wondering that, you're also wondering, who is this dashing lad on the television? Well, first of all, the name's Orion. And if this is Deacon watching this video, aren't you proud, da? You made a handsome son. Also, of course, if you're hearing this and it is you, and you and I have already spoken, you're wondering about the voice. We could change that to a bit of an neat trick now, isn't it? <sighs> Actually, it is. Now, you're wondering what's going on. Well, I bet you've broken through the root cellar, didn't you? Everyone would make that mistake. Not to worry, though. I had a nice little sensor put on it. Aren't you proud? <coughs> Not at the moment, no. <coughs> so, you'll be wondering why you're hacking up a lung. Well, did you know that vampires in confined spaces can be affected by certain chemical compounds? In this case, I decided not to stretch myself too much. Holy water in a humidifier. A bit low-tech for my tastes, but in this moment, I've effectively turned the house into a gas chamber for vampires. That's actually brilliant. Oh, little one, we have to go. We have to go right now. 
Now don't worry. This will all be over before you know it. But, in the rare chance that it isn't, I really hope you feckin' suffer, you bastard. For what you did to me, ma. For what you did to me. I hope you suffer every imaginable pain, old man. But, in case I don't get to tell that to your face, it's been a blast. Have fun dying, you bastard. Bye. <coughs> Little one. Little one, we have to go. We have to go. I, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <coughs> <coughs> windows. Go for the windows. Now. Yeah. Shatterproof from everything. Come here. Just come here and... <sighs> I don't have much left in me. Ah. Come here. <sighs> Legio. I cannot believe I fell for that. A very strong little one. Stronger than most now, but... That took every ounce I had left. No. No, no, we, uh... We can't stay here. We have to go. Do you have the diary? Oh, fuck him. I'm going to call it a diary. I don't care. But we have to go. Larry. Into the car. You're driving. Yes. And it's very expensive, so... Try not to scratch it. I'm going to sleep in the back. Or passing out. One of the two, but... We'll get to the car first. I don't want you to have to carry me. As well. I'm also a little more heavy than I appear. Just... Let's go. Let's... let's go.